Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. This is episode 57, um, and we are uh, set back slightly, uh, but it shouldn't take us very long to catch back up. Speed through the dialogue since we've already seen it before. I learned what happens when a the AI has the opportunity to take a fort back from you. Um, so that was good to know. <laughs> you know, like playing with save states, you've seen people accidentally load a save too many times. Yeah, I mean, it does happen. And it's not my preference, right? But in this particular situation, um, I don't know, playing without save states in this game is, is absolutely possible, obviously, right? But it's been a pain in the ass. If they take your home castle, it's game over. Fair enough. Okay, so we're gonna move. We're gonna. I'm gonna start moving over so that we can be close enough to. I think. I'm gonna try to remain close enough with Ulster so that we can heal with Lana, though. Yeah, yeah. Don't you do it? Don't hit me. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, good enough. Heal up, try to get that extra experience. Actually, just super excited to see more kid stuff. Like, more... More kids, more new skills, more new models, more all of it. It's it's very exciting. Whoop. Nice, we got the crit. Very cool. Alright, level four Selif. Two HP, one skill, one strength, one speed, one luck, one defense. I think that's the same level we got last time, I think. Which makes sense, because we didn't reset our RNG. Okay, um... Kind of like something like... I don't really know how this is going to play out. I think what I'll do is I'll make a save state here before I besiege the castle and see if we need to use that, basically. Just save state here and then seize... Now we're going to speed through all this, because this was actually a lot of dialogue. So... Because it's, it's not even just this conversation. It's also conversations with Julia, and then conversations with uh, Danon, and Arthur, and P. Start, skip, cutscenes. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. The deed is done. Thank you for the heads up. Very nice. All right. Go ahead and talk and get this passed on over. Very good. And as far as I'm aware, I don't know, but we should be maybe good now. And see how that goes. All right. So many axes. All the axes everywhere.
I, and where we're at, I'm less concerned that they're going to run away. But I'm still concerned that we're going to have this big, like, swarm of both. Oh, okay. We'll see how it goes. Maybe, maybe where I was just triggered both sides. Maybe you can trigger one side and then the other. I don't know, though. Okay, skip this cutscene. And let's... Didn't really mean to save there, but I guess it's fine. Um, like I said, we can always go to the save state if we need to. So we'll go ahead and kill Lester. All right, all right, all right. What pairings did I do? Okay, so. Um, skipping the, the required pairings, and bear in mind, I, I had no idea what I was doing with pairings, I didn't even know there were pairings until, uh, like, halfway through, I think, like, chapter two or something like that, um, because this is my first time playing the game, but I did Ira and Do, um, I did Aideen and Jamkey, I did, um, Sylvia and Alec, by accident. I did Aaron and Lewin. I did Bridget and Medir. And then I did Requasis and Isel. Isel? Isel. Did I say right that time? I think I did. Did I forget anybody? I don't, I don't know if I forgot anybody, but... That is off the top of my head. Like Guzel. Uzel. I so I came up with a third I came up with a second wrong way. Nice. Wonderful. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. Well then. That's nice. I sure did. Uzel. Okay, are we going to get a crit this time? We got a crit again. Perfect. Our RNG has not changed. Very exciting. Okay, um... I kind of want to move everyone back slightly to see if I can just avoid, if that's a thing. If I can just avoid the Axe Knights. I get the feeling that that's not a thing, though. I get the feeling that they're all gonna move. If they do, what is my plan? Ooh, no, they didn't! Yeah, they did. Fuck. They're different armies. I got all excited. Damn. Okay. What is my plan, then? Um, I could go put Oife in the castle, potentially, or I could put, like, Sigurd in the castle. I don't know if Sigurd will survive in the castle. He might. Um, he might, actually. That could, that could work. That would be pretty interesting. You don't think Sigurd would survive anything at this point? That's fair. Not gonna save. Got nine to or Sigurd. Well, damn it! Ah, jump, jump, jump. Look, it, that just means he's undead, so he can survive all the things. Okay, these guys have twenty-seven damage. He would it would be he'd be hard pressed to survive on his own I think but I would rather he do that than Oife get in there and muck about I'm gonna have him guard and we're gonna see how that goes and then I think the others i think i'm actually gonna like pull up this way 
He'll be fine. He might be fine. He, he might actually be fine. Um, so I'm thinking maybe if I can, if I can get these guys to all funnel up through here, he might gain 10 li right? <laughs> that's, so that's the hope. If he, if he can just dodge tank, cause he's only got to fight. Well, no, he's got, he, he, he's probably not, this is probably not going to work, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. As, as per normal, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna send Arthur after this guy. I'm gonna send B in a very roundabout way after that guy, and we'll see how that all works out. IDK. I don't really know, honestly, at this point. Um, if this doesn't work, I think what the plan will be is to just not worry about Yo Javier's side of things. Pull the um, Axe Knights over towards the castle, because the Axe Knights are going to get there way faster than the fighters are. Kill all the Axe Knights in a formation around the castle, and just go from there and see how things, see how things work out. Fingers crossed. Here it goes. One of these villages is important, by the way. I don't remember which one is, is the important one, but one of these villages is important. I didn't mean to save my progress there, but whatever. Okay, where is he? Of course, he is... Just far back enough to be a pain in the butt. I feel like we need to press here, probably. Maybe not like a full court press, but we probably need to press. Maybe we come up here, Wind Sword. Yep. Brave Blade. What the fuck was that? Sibling bonus? <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> sibling bonus? We have sibling bonuses. Okay. My god, this there's so much going on here at the end. I yeah, I never saw that with Ethelin and Sigurd. I did not. I did not know sig sibling bonuses were a thing. That is pretty fucking cool. Okay, we're gonna come in with the bolt sword. See how this goes. Nice. Good job, Dermot. Put Oife on the flank. Put everyone over. Standing directly next to your sibling gives a 20% crit chance. They call them the murder twins for the reason. That's fair. That is fair. I'm not going to be able to move out, so we're just going to hold there. Um... Check my map. 
switch. That one is supposed to be. Okidoki. Alright. Let's send Fee up to. One, try to save this village, but also potentially get involved in things if need be. And Arthur can just start plinking away at this guy. Really, really good experience. Okay. Let's see how bad of a judgment call this was. I'm assuming it was a very bad judgment call. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You fool! Your lord. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Same is true for lovers too, by the way. Yeah, so so Myokai told me about the whole um, lover thing. I don't think I ever experienced it though. <laughs> break break your blades upon Larce. Speaking of broken blades, she's probably gonna break the brave blade pretty shortly. So I might have to stop using it. There's very few siblings in Gen One. That's fair. HP, speed, luck, defense, resistance, a five point level up. Jeez. All right. Ooh, Luna. It's so not like it's nice to randomly see Luna proc and me go, oh, hey, nice. I got the heals. It very rarely procs when I need it to, though. Like right now. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, Larce is not gonna have much durability on that Brave Blade pretty soon. Wonder how it decides whether to roll for Luna or Astra. Or Soul, rather. Sorry, it's it's Soul, not not Luna. But the order of yeah, I don't know, because I assume one comes first, right? You know, it's check to see if you succeeded on this one. Then check to see if you succeeded on this one, you know. Um, so I wonder what the order of operations is. HP and speed. Not the greatest level up, but a two-point level up is still a improvement. Wait. Okay. I was going to say, did did my, my potential boyfriend actually attack me? What's going on there? Oh, no. See, he didn't attack. He moved into base to base with her, but he refuses to attack her. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Ooh. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so this is this is both fortunate and unfortunate. It's unfortunate because now Selif's not going to really be involved in the fight. But it is also fortunate because it's more likely that we're going to succeed. <laughs> oh. Oh, and this way I can have Yohavier kill his brother. Be like, ha! Get out of here, bro. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, talk. Hello. Guess you finally realized you want to see me, am I right? Look, I know you try to act like you're cool, tough, and uncaring, but I know you're not all that bad. I mean, you've made a point of keeping your hands off the innocent all along. But I'd rather avoid fighting you if I can. Hmm. Pushing people around never really sat right with me, you know? Like my brothers. I'm getting real sick of the Lopterian order running the show here. All around Isaac, they've been stealing kids and killing them all as sacrifices? Dad doesn't even so much as ask them nicely to stop. I've had it with them. Serious? <laughs> That's funny. Oh! 
What? I don't know that I like this. I think I wanna. I. I think I wanna re rewind and kill those guys first. <laughs> Cause I don't. I mean. You know. Yeah, it's the lost experience. I don't give a shit about his additional units. Yeah, I guess maybe his additional units could give us something, but, you know, they can give us something now. They can give us that sweet, sweet experience. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do it. I, I'm decided. We're attacking with the Iron Blade here. Gonna milk that experience for all it's worth. Hell yeah. A level on freaking Ulster. HP, skill, speed, defense. Nice. Very nice. I gotta kill your brother. <laughs> Look. No dead weight around here, my man. We not allowable. We <laughs> we can't we can't just be having a bunch of weaklings. They're just gonna run at the the, the axe knights and get themselves killed anyways. You know, like let's be let's be honest. We know that's how it's gonna work. Okay, um, look here, attack with the Iron Sword. Okay. Eat Blast in here. Actually, with the amount of experience that I'm getting, well, when I hit this guy. With the amount of experience that I'm getting from this guy, it might not actually be bad to just farm this guy with Arthur. And then the other side... Okay, so we're going to talk to him now. And skip. And now he is... A what manner of nonsense is this? Your Javier has turned his cloak for the rebels. Wow! Dude, you could have also joined, and then you could both compete for Larce's love. But instead, um, you, you ordered the murder of your brother. That's fucked up. All right, we've got Yohalvier. I just, I just like his name, honestly. Okay, he is an A. All right, so we took, we took a cost over vantage, basically. And you never used Yohalvier, so I'm interested in this. Right, like, I feel like Johan would absolutely be the go-to. One, he's got a horse. Two, he looks quite dashing. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I want to I wanna give the fighter bro some love. We'll see how it goes. Authority. Um, do I have any new... He and Arthur both need to talk to Salem. Gotcha. Okay. Just can make it there. Alright. No heals necessary. Pretty much out of the Brave Sword. Real bad. Johan is just not as good as Lex. That's true, right? Yohavier is at least unique. Yeah. I think that's the, the bent that I'm going as well. Is, is it, it's just neat to potentially have a unique character in Javier. Um, let's do a heal here. Milking experience, basically. And then we'll do a mend on Lana with Julia. And 
Not sure what to do about the Sigurd situation. What it is, but... Like, I'm worried if I bring Sigurd out, then he'll just kind of... It's also kind of weird when you pair Ira and Lex and these two are lusting after their cousin. Yeah. Fair. Huh. Alright then. Dang. Now I feel like I need to just murder them both. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. I did not think about taking his, or his castle would also be joining us. So, Arthur doesn't get to milk that guy for experience anymore. <laughs> Unfortunate. Ow. Oh, yes. Heal yourself, please. Holy crap. Ooh. I got... I got very scared there for a second. Skill, speed, luck, defense. Great level. Her speed is going up really quick. Fucking ow. Ah, shit. They're doing the whole being too good for their own good situation. Oh, yeah. Please don't hit. Come on. 27. You piece of shit. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. How far of a rewind do I have? Probably not far enough. But... I did have it to where, um, Oife and, uh, Dermot still had a turn. So in theory, I could put Oife and Dermot in front of, uh, Ira. Wow, I can't believe that worked. Holy shit. Okay. Let's, let's save state so I don't have to do that again. Um, but basically what I'm, what I'm looking at is here, I could put Oife in front, and I don't know that that's going to help too terribly much. In fact, that's going to open up Oife to a lot of attacks. But, I mean, we know, we know the alternative is that... Ulster will die, right? So, putting Oife in front might alter that. So, let's uh, see how that goes. Okay. 36% chance to hit. Ugh. Yes. Survive, but do not... Oh, that is wonderful, because that just blocked the shit out of that. Thank you, AI. That was a terrible move. 36. Ow. Ow. Blocked again. Very nice. The blazes was that. I thought my son can't get any more useless. He goes and forgets how to fight. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no, they're on the move. Damn it! Oh god, game, chill out. Cal game, calm the fuck down. Give me, give me some moments to breathe. Oof, my goof. Game is not playing. I, I need, I need to save that village. That village right there, I actually actively need to save. Um, like, that's a big deal. Um, uh-oh. Time for Seleph to start running, I guess. Oh, shit. I'm gonna attack here. The available talks? Yeah, just a second. Nice job, Fee. I think last I looked, I just had uh, Fee and Arthur for Seleph. All right, we've got a lot of shit going on here. Um, hmm. I think... I think Fee has the best chance of getting to this guy um, in a realistic amount of time. These guys... It's going to take them a while to get up here through this pass. Um, so we've got a bit of time. I don't think Seleph can make it there in time. So I don't think him sprinting there is going to be the... But I need to check. Fire some. Okay, there's a skill ring there, so that's what we're going for. We're trying to get a skill. Um, okay. Uh... Sorry, I'm looking at conversations real quick. Just to see if there's anything I should be looking out for. There's so many different kid options. Really kind of daunting. Okay, I don't have either of those, so that doesn't matter. I don't have either of those, so that doesn't matter. I think we're pretty good to go. So, um, this is sketchy. Uh, we've got two guys that are very weak, right? Um, but I think we still have the same problem that we had last time. Is, is I'm not sure we can kill so two dead very easily. Sure, but after that, we can maybe kill another three at best. And then we have the problem of... A bunch of um, attacks coming in. 
don't know that we're going to survive those attacks. Um, if we do something like attack, retreat, I can kill two of them. I don't think that that's going to work out well, though, either. Five, twelve, defense. 15. It's actually really fast, but the steel axe tanks his weight. Huh. I wonder, I wonder if there's. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just hemming and hawing. So I think the general thing that we're. Okay, so we're either going to have to stand, take a narrow choke point defense. We can do that with probably Oife and Larce are our best bet. Larce has 17 speed already. Um, so that's about as good as it gets. But again, with the Brave Blade, the Brave Blade's so close to breaking. I don't know that we're going to be able to do that. We put Yohalvie in. Got a decent amount of defense. 27. That's still going to be 13 a hit. Only 3 hits, 4 hits to kill him. Okay, um... Let's attack with Bolt Sword. Kill this guy. Pretty good level. Not sure I'm happy with that decision, though. The Bolt Sword could have been used to really fuck someone else up. Um, I kind of feel like our best bet is still just kind of holding. So we use the Wind Sword to get a kill. My goodness. <laughs> Never had it happen, and now it's just constantly happening. Sibling crit! Okay. Um, now, in theory, we have access to Johan. We don't. Well, actually, we do. What's our chance of hitting with a javelin on Johan? Not horrible. Boyfe has pursuit. Javelin is 18 weight, so he's not going to be able to... And 12 speed. I'd assume in that particular instance it means no one gets to double. What I'm basically looking is is it's Johan is the scariest thing. Can I drop Johan with like Oife and Lester? And kind of like pull them out? So Lester would be a little difficult to pull out, but I think he can. I can do the killer bow. Let's just see how it goes. Let's just fucking see how it goes. <laughs> Game's pretty strong, Jay. Game's pretty strong. <laughs> Easy peasy. Lester channeling his jam key for one turn. I believe. HP, skill, strength, speed, luck, defense. It's fucking levels. Oh my god. Good lord indeed. Um... So, Larsay can move in, attack, and probably kill. 
If, uh, remind me, if a weapon breaks, if it goes down to zero uses, it's not... You can still just repair it, it's just no longer usable until you repair it, right? I'm 90% I'm sure that that is what I have seen prior. Okay. And granted, I still don't want to break the damn thing, if at all possible, but... 40% chance to hit is way higher than we want. Ugh. Fuck. Technically it's still usable when it's broken, but has awful stats. Gotcha. Okay, we're gonna do... We're just gonna do some experimentation. I'm gonna pull Oife back. Um, I'm going to worry about dealing with Julia. If it breaks on enemy phase, it would basically guarantee a death. Yeah, because it doesn't have like super abysmal like speed and they're basically guaranteed. Yeah, I, I feel you. It's the same thing as what happened with uh, Sigurd's father when he was carrying the broken tear thing, right? Ooh, HP, strength, and luck. Bad. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna test this. We're gonna see how it goes, um, and if it goes poorly, we'll reload. Fingers crossed. Wonder twin powers activate. It ruins your avoid and weighs you down. Gotcha. Basically makes everything a hit, sure. Speaking of everything being a hit, 25%. Stop it. Also, soul, please. <laughs> please. Okay. Very worried. Oh, it's such a good level, too. Very worried that uh, Ulster is just about to get smacked in the face. Come on, 25%. Miss. Oh, don't Astra Soul! Ah! Okay. Give me the stats that matter. Strength, speed. Speed could matter. Luck. Okay. Come on, dodge. Dodge and get a soul. Dodge and get a soul. Not Astra. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> Why you do this to me? Okay, 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 okay. 18%. Oh. Okay, Larce gets the soul. Really? Really? Okay, game. I see how it is. Who knew having two Iras would be so painful? <laughs> it's because they're baby Iras. They're gonna grow up to be sh strong mama Iras one day, but right now they're baby Iras. It's I swear to God, he's gonna he's gonna get hit right here. This is gonna be it. I'm so oh! God! <laughs> That, that took it out of me, y'all. That, that actually took it out of me. My god. Fucking terrifying. My god, all these guys have hand axes, too. And this motherfucker has a brave blade? Oh, goodness. I gotta get the fuck over there. Okay. Sailift's gonna charge on down. Um. Go here. Lana goes here and heals. 
Okay, now we have a tense mad dash down to that. I think that choke point, if we can get there before they can. Right? I don't think we can. I don't think we can get there before they can. But... I don't know, at least in this kind of terrain. Like how Larce has already gained five levels on this map. This is so fucking look. They're so good. Oh my goodness. Alright. Fucking, I forget how fast he is. He is absurdly fast. Uh, I think I actually want to take B down towards this guy so that we're not losing that. Um, though I say that, I don't think she can fly. Fly direct? Not positive. We'll have her come this direction. Not really losing any speed by doing that. Okay. Run! Get a mend for the experience and go from there. I might be well done either way, Yosh. Yosh! Oh, I need to... Uh, I got so much to do. I think, I think after we deal with this, this village and the next group, these guys, right? I think after we deal with them, we're probably going to be okay to... Like, there will be a little break period. It feels... Because I, I feel like I've kind of gotten used to the cadence that the game tends to take. Um, so I'm pretty sure that this is the last of the... Oh god, get the stuff done. Kind of situations. For now, at least. Right, save... Running. Fuck, Lester's so fast. Wait. Yeah. Down to here. Be able to attack the next turn. It'll be good. Um, healed, healed, healed. Not healed. Healed, healed, healed. Oh, I also need to, I think. No. Sorry, I'm looking at conversations again. Uh, I think here. Uh, Apparently, there is a hidden conversation. If you have the other version of Larce, um, who is not Ulster, right? There's a there. There's Ulster Dalvin and Larce Cridne. There's, yeah, there's alternate kids, alternate stories, alternate conversations, alternate pairings. That's really neat. Um, that's a lot of replayability for this game. That's really cool. Oop. About 50 minutes in. And time is 
flying by. Time, time flies when you're having fun. Some of them even get unique items and stuff. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I've seen, I've seen a couple of those. I actually watched a video a couple months back, um, towards the start of when I first started playing um, Genealogy of the Holy War. I wasn't even watching it for Genealogy of the Holy War. It just showed up on my YouTube feed because um, I occasionally watch Fire Emblem videos. And it was like a, you know, uh, here, are, here are 10 um, super rare weapons in the Fire Emblem series that people don't often get. Um, and it had like two from the from this game that were, were basically unique kids that you only get this specific weapon by having this specific kid and doing this specific thing. It's a contingency. If your mother characters die, the substitutes is like first generation the redo instead of the uber busted kids. That's fair. That's a good, that's fair. And crazy to think that a SNES cart only holds like four megs in a game like this can be as big. Absolutely right. Like, holy shit. Holy shit. All right, we, we've got a lot going on. Um, that being said, uh, we'll go ahead and let the, the enemy phase, the enemy turn go. Um, but I don't think anything big is going to happen. They're just going to move forward. And that is going to be the end of this video. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. We're going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. Where's that guy going? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for more Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Those two guys are just... You can't get down from there. What are you doing? Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash thedistanthorizon.